I'm Michael Weipert, and this is my story. I first realized I wanted to be a physician. Uh, my sister, she was born with, with a pretty rare uh, deformity. She had a hole in her heart. Uh, at the time, I didn't really know what that meant. Uh, I just knew that my sister was sick all the time. And I noticed that the doctors were all there, and, and I kind of looked up to them. I thought to myself, you know, I, I like science, I don't like math, and so I'd like to be a doctor. When I was 19, I left uh, college in between my freshman and sophomore year uh, to go serve a mission uh, for our church. We would provide 40, you know, 50 hours of service each week. But there was one particular time where we were working at this hospital. Was the situation was so bad for all these kids, but it just took somebody to care a little bit. I thought, you know, as a doctor, I bet I could do that. I bet I could, bet I could help people. And, and you know, you might not be able to, to, to fix everything, but at least you can make everybody's life a little better. I didn't really have a lot of money to pay for school. So I, I joined the National Guard, I went to basic training, and then as soon as it was done, I just went back to school. And then September 11th happened. Everybody realized we were, we were gonna go to war and just sit by and, and say, I'm going to school. I mean, this is my country just as much as it's everybody else's, and, and I know where I need to be. And so I came home and I told my wife, I said, uh, I'd like to go on active duty. I finished up and then uh, I went to flight school. I served three tours to Iraq. In 2007, I was working with a full bird colonel down in Baghdad, uh, and I was doing a military intelligence role with him. I started thinking, there's gotta be something else I can do. So I took the, uh, the time off and I worked at the hospital. I loved the volunteer there. Uh, my really good friend, uh, Dr. Buzzard, he was working there as an ER doc. We were kind of uh, talking and just hanging out for a couple minutes. And then we hear this Blackhawk coming in. And then we heard another one, and then another one, and then we heard six of them coming in. And he said, hey, I'm gonna need you to hang around. Everything was going crazy. My friend came over and said, I'm gonna need you to go over there. I need you to start cutting their clothes off, and I need you to tell me what's going on. And I said, I've never done this, this kind of thing before. And he said, yeah, well, you're gonna have to. And I thought, this is what I wanna do. I don't wanna be, I wanna be an intelligence analyst. I don't wanna look at maps. This is what I always wanted to do. This is it. My path to medical school was, was not an easy one. A&M did a lot to help me out with getting through all the hurdles. That was the difference with A&M. Being a part of the school now and knowing what they stand for, knowing how veteran uh, proud they are and how they serve the community. I'm very, very proud to be an Aggie. Every day I just look around and happy to be a, a part of this school. For the military, it's not about the money. It's what do you want to do and how do you want to give back. And so I think that emergency medicine is one of those things where I, I can get back as quick as I can and, and I can start making an impact. In this life, we have a certain amount of time to do things. And I wanted to do something with my life that I'd be proud of. People like Pat Tillman, some of these other scholars, people who, who, saw, who saw their country had a need and they said, you know, I, I know I'm a successful football player or, or I know I'm going to be going to law school, I'm going to be doing any of these other number of things. I'm going to put all that on hold to go serve. These are a bunch of heroes. I mean, these are, these are the cream of the crop, you know, in, in the country and, and to just be there, it, it's just amazing. It, it's great to be a part of it all. I'm an Aggie, I'm a service member, and I'm transforming health. <laughs>